David Dobrik has been exposed once again in Casey Neistat's documentary. Apparently, he was shading one of Dom Siglati's victims and making out like whatever happened to her was a burden for him and his career. In today's respill, we're going to be covering James Charles getting called out for playing kids' computer games, Pete Davidson bragging to Kanye about being in bed with Kim, and Trisha Paytas being right all along about David Dobrik and the vlog squad. So first of all, we need to address Casey see nice stats documentary because things have gotten messy in the world of David Dobrik and people are praising Casey Neistat for his documentary bringing to light the dark world of David Dobrik including his tapestry of power abuse and coercion. Also, a couple of clips have leaked online from the documentary displaying this behaviour. <laughs> and funny stuff and this is not funny unless someone gets hurt. Can you go even a little bit higher? Do these stuns ever concern you, Natalie? Yeah, all the time. That's my job. That's why I'm here. I'm here to be like safety Sally. I'm the no. I'm the big, I put the no. <laughs> Have you said no to David before? Oh yeah, all the time. We're gonna stay here for three hours. We're not gonna get it and it's gonna be like, okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You need more power on the throw. I'm not worried about this happening. I'm worried about my reaction when it happens because it's going to happen. He's not just blessed with his his talents. He's also blessed with this insane luck that everything always works out for him. Now, if it weren't for Casey Neistat's documentary, I'm sure David Dobrik would still have his strong online presence, but that is rapidly diminishing as the days go by and more gets exposed. As we can see from that clip, David was encouraging dangerous behaviour. And as for his assistant Natalie, people are now pointing out she's just as bad as him. She referred to herself in that clip as Safety Sally, but apparently later on she was shown to be pressuring Corinna Kompf into removing her shirt while filming a fake party scene in a private jet, even after Corinna had expressed that she wasn't keen to. Now Casey Neistat has been a longtime friend of David Dobrik, and many believe that he was too deep into the friendship to see the reality of how much of a horrible person David is. So fans have finding it quite refreshing now that Casey is the one to expose David with this documentary. According to an article written by Mashable, they'd seen the documentary and reported that David was shaming one of Dom Zaglati's victims and making out like it was just all an annoying rumour that affected his career. The article reads, Dobrik replies, no, this article was written because this place wanted clicks, he says. While sitting in a $13 million house financed by near-death stunts, a podcast named Views, and a line of clickbait merch, he seems to see the woman's account of is a pesky rumour, more harmful to him than her. I don't want to respond to it because I don't want to feed the fire of just gossip and hate and drama. I've always wanted to be a person that when you see me, you're just like laughing or smiling or you're pumped to have me around. Now I'm stained forever with something that I don't necessarily think I should be stained with. The article then goes on to state that David disregarded Jeff's accident and blamed it Jeff for it. He seems to brush Wittick's accident off as a result of Wittick's own recklessness. Jeff for some reason thought that I I wasn't getting the shot, he tells Neistat. So Jeff was like, let's do something more exciting. And I am always down for more exciting. If someone brings up an idea of doing something cooler, I'm always down for that. So yeah, overall this documentary is super problematic and kind of reinforces everything that Trisha had said about the vlog squad over the years, but no one believed her. David definitely gets away with anything and still does to this day because he's making millions still off stunts that have almost caused people their lives. The way he still has a platform is mind-boggling to some of his former fans. Moving on from this, Kanye West really has it out for Kim, and Pete Davidson is over it. Pete recently told Kanye he was in bed with his wife after telling Kanye he's over the way that he treats Kim. Kanye had leaked these messages between them both and had since taken them down. Here we can see Pete had said, yo, it's Skeet, can you please take a second and calm down? It's 8am and it don't gotta be like this. Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. What she does for those kids is amazing and you are so effing lucky that she's your kid's mom. I've decided I'm not gonna let you treat us this way anymore and I'm done being quiet. Grow the F up. Oh, you using profanity? Where are you right now? In bed with your wife. Happy to see you're at the hospital and rehab. Same here. It's wonders what those places do when you go get help. You should try it. You don't scare me, bro. Your actions are so... 
and embarrassing. It's so sad to watch you ruin your legacy on the daily. You're more than welcome to come to the Sunday service. Why don't we meet after Sunday service in Saints game? I'll be at the BHH and we can have food and talk it out in my room. Privately, one-on-one, man-to-man. What you are doing to your family is dangerous and going to scar them for life. Please handle these matters privately, bro. I beg you. You want to see me? Come to Sunday service. This isn't public, dude. I'm not here for pictures and press, which is obviously all you care about. My office stands. I wish you'd man up for once in your life. Let me help you, man. I struggle with mental stuff too. It's not an easy journey. You don't have to feel this way anymore. There's no shame in having a little help. You'll be so happy and at peace. You have no idea how nice I've been to you despite your actions towards me. I've stopped NSL from talking about or making fun of you, which they've wanted to do for months. I've stopped stand-up comedians from doing bits about you, because they don't want the father of my girl's kids to look bad out there. I have your back even though you treat me like shit, because I want everything to be smooth. But if you continue to press me like you have for the past six months, I'm going to stop being nice. Kanye also went off at Kim on social media once again. He's trying to control his daughter North's use of the TikTok app, and now North doesn't want to see her father, which is pissing Kanye off even more, and he's blaming Kim for this. Things are just getting so messy and kind of scary. Hey everybody, I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said I'm not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney, uh, I have a say so. And then when people say, oh, they're going to use this for you in court, I don't even, I didn't have a say so on whether that thing went to Sierra Canyon. Most men do not, there's no such thing as 50 50 custody with, with, in society today. That's not, that's not even, it always leans towards the mom. But right now, and I'm happy that you guys got to see just a small piece of what I dealt with. You understand what I'm saying? So when we had the Donda 2 release in Miami, I got a flight for all my kids to come from Calabasas to come in Miami to see the kids. Then uh, assistant uh, hit me and said, all the kids, you know, they, they said the kids are there. When the plane took off, I got a text from Kim that said, uh, North won't be on the plane. You see, this is the kind of stuff that's just like the Chicago birthday party. And I'm glad that y'all saw in the variety piece what I have to deal with. Here go another thing. The Doves high school basketball game. We hold one in California. My my daughter loves basketball. I want her to see the league that her father is starting. North can't go to that game. Now we got Sunday service the morning, uh, this morning at 10 a.m. And it's North had a sleepover, so she can't come to Sunday service. I moved the Sunday service up to 10 a.m. so that I go to Saints soccer game at 12.30. Move the entire thing. And I've been dragged and how she not my wife, she don't have a last name. And now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching my children? If he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife. And and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the, uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce. Because every time I finish the show, the Free Hoover show, the next day she dropping the last night. Every time I do something positive, it's some negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then it's she joking about divorce. I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. God, I just need to protect my ch- You protect the children. You t- I know our nannies. Some of them are Christian. You touch them, please, God, today and have them bring my children to Sunday service this morning. The devil ain't going to win. You get what I'm saying? This is gaslighting. Kim gets black people out of prison. You know who puts black people in prison? The person that the boyfriend has a tattoo of, Hillary. You understand the setup right here? You understand the narrative right here? God, please, in your son's name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, please make sure my kids come to Sunday service. Please. Amen. 
Kanye's perspective on things is definitely disturbing. There's no doubt even North is becoming uncomfortable with this behaviour. I'm sure that's humiliating for her to see online. So lastly, James Charles is really out here playing Minecraft, which is a children's game. So he was trending on Twitter because of this. People were going off at the fact that he was playing a children's game when he's notoriously known for minors. Someone went so far as to say he probably thought it was a dating app or something, Ali Mayo. Someone else had said, sometimes gatekeeping is okay. And by that, I mean, can somebody please keep James Charles the F away from Minecraft? A confirmed child are playing a game that children are known to play? And why does this man still have a platform? Y'all got me effed up. James Charles' account definitely needs to be banned before he starts treating it like a dating app. And the fact he's so proud of his accomplishment as well and willing to boast to the world about playing this children's game is also concerning considering he knows damn well what he's famous for. So what are your thoughts on all this tea spilled? Let me know in the comments.